Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Got an interesting comment from a guy down in New Zealand. He says, Hi, Dave. Regarding the comet pass through feed through, perhaps Jeff, KF0OWH, was referring to the one in the link below or similar. I had misunderstood Jeff's question. I mean, was there a capacitive pass-through for HF, just like some antennas on VHF? You can do that on your car, so you don't have to punch a hole, and you can put it up beside the car, etc. Now, he says perhaps it's the one referred to in the advertisement. Well, I bought one, okay, from DX Engineering. This is the so-called pass-through. This solves the problem of how you get from the inside of your house to the outside of your house. This is a very thin ribbon, see? Now it's got a piece of strong stuff in the middle. So you connect your coax to this one inside the house, shut your window on this, which is gonna give it a really weird angle. And then there's the outside right there. Now this was not inexpensive from DX Engineering. And then I saw these while I was looking on Amazon for them. It's $19 for the two of them. This is a pair of Chinese made that do the same thing. They're not as long, they're not as fancy, but it's the same thing. You've got this, you put this in the window. We're gonna try both of these. One of these plus this Comet one. And we're going to try one with no connector at all. So what we're gonna use for that case is this. This is called a barrel connector, okay? And this allows you to hook two pieces of coax together. So we're gonna start out with a fairly short piece of coax. This might be how long it takes for your rig to get to the window and then I've got a piece outside that will hook onto this that will show us what we've got. And then we're going to take the Nano VNA right here, okay? And we're gonna look at return loss. One of the problems with the Nano VNA is it's not very heavy. <laughs> now we'll put this out the window, put the barrel connector on, put the piece of coax outside on, leave it open on the end, okay? So the return loss, there shouldn't be any return loss. It should be reflected from the end back to you. So you will see that it is not losing energy. Now, if we compare that with the window through like this, and we find that there is more return loss, then we can say, aha, so many dB loss for this thing right here. So let's put this out the window, okay? We'll hook a piece of coax outside to it. Now the way I do mine, you can see down here we've got all my cables go through this hole in the wall which I've stuffed with this orange thing to keep the mice out and it goes to a, a connection box out there that's grounded and so on. We're just going to ignore all that for right now and I'm going to put this barrel connector on and this barrel connector now allows me to connect another coax to it. So I'm just going to slip this out the window. Yeah. Okay, so I've got this piece of unused coax out here. It's RG213, it's cable on both ends. And with coax, you don't need to lay it out in a snake like you would a piece of open wire line or window line or something like that. It doesn't really matter if it's all bound together. So what we're going to do, so we're going to go over here to the window. This is where I have the lightning arresters for all my antennas. This is made by KF7P Metalworks. You can just look that up on Google right there. It's kf7p.com. Okay, and he made this one for me and I've got room for expansion in there. What we're going to do is just hook this to this barrel connector right here. Okay, now let's uh, go inside and take a couple measurements. So what we've got is this display right here for return loss for that uh, cable assembly 
with the barrel connector in the middle. It's just like you would do connecting any two pieces of coax. The low return loss means that most of the signal is reflected here. And if you come down here, you can see where there are places where there's some RF lost in the coax right here, down 10 dB, so losing about a tenth of the signal. Now, this is our baseline. Now, let's uh, try this with one of these through. This is the Comet. And let's put this, we'll take the barrel connector out, and then we'll put this on here. There's no inside or outside on this. It works either way. Connect this to here. Okay, now we're going to just push this out like that. We'll put this back in place. We'll put it a little further down here. Okay, it's now as tight as it can be in there. So that would be weatherproof. Now let's see if we see any difference. Okay. We're gonna resweep. We'll check this with the other. I'm gonna save this. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to do what we can here with one of the Chinese ones. It says made in China on the bag, not on the device. And see here, kind of where it got bent a little bit going through there. So let's take this one off. Now these are wood windows but they've got metal on the outside. Get that one in as far as it will go. Now we're going to sweep this again. This is now with the Chinese. This old sweep is the one with the Comet. This is the new sweep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, very interesting. Now this is the return loss diagram for a piece of coax that's of an unknown length, 50 feet, something like that, that's uh, just sitting out there, it's open on the end. So 100% of the power should be reflected. Well, it's not. I mean, let's say we're losing as much as 12 dB in loss. This goes from three and a half megahertz down here up to 30 megahertz up here. So this is HF. You can see it's a tuned circuit. It's got some resonances and so on. But now what's interesting is if we go to the Comet. Now I want you to watch this as we go to Comet. Ready? There. Okay, now in every case, return loss is negative. So more return loss. So let's take this spot right here, okay, which is about four and a half. And we go back to the barrel connector and we say, oh, my goodness about uh, two and a half, so a couple dB of return loss. That means that that is losing a dB on the way out and losing another dB on the way back. Okay, so this is twice the return loss. So it's not as good as a simple barrel connector, okay? Now, if this were attached to a 50 ohm line, this would be more a straight line, but then we'd be wanting to measure visor. Okay, now, this is interesting, it's quite a bit. We're all right up about here in these. Note that the bands are where they are. They don't matter because we don't have a load on this. It's open. We could have shorted it, I guess, but let's now look at the comet. It's just a little bit worse. It's a couple dB that you lose. Now that's one dB out and one dB back, which isn't terrible if that's all you've got to deal with, okay? Now let's look at the Chinese. We'll look again at the simple barrel connector and we'll look at the, holy cow, okay, the no brand window through. Note that there should be ideally no return loss. Everything should be returned. So we've got down here 12 dB, that's two S units. So one S unit each way that we lose in this. This is a terrible, absolutely terrible curve. If you wanted to look at the comet again. See, the comet and the simple barrel connector are very similar, although the comet does 
lose a couple dB. Well, let's see. Actually, it loses yeah, about 2 dB going down there. Let's see what this bottom one is here. The bottom one's like minus 12.5 to minus 12.9, not so much down there. So the Comet CTC50M, I can see using as a window through. Okay, now you'll notice in this case, I tightened the window all the way closed as it would be for winter. Okay, and not just closed, but locked closed. But this Chinese no brand is terrible. I guess if you get up into the 10 meter region, it's not, well, it's still 3 dB that you're losing. And down here, man, 12 dB. This is horrible. Don't get them. Get the Comet. If this is the only way you can get your coax from inside to outside. Now, again, the, the window is made, it's kind of a stack of things. The screen has got an aluminum frame with a plastic screen in it. So that aluminum frame is sitting right on the edge. Of it. Also, when we put the thing out, it's mostly wood, but there is a steel frame around each window, which will interact with the window through or whatever, okay? The name brand one, which you get from DX Engineering, CTC50M, okay? This works, it's a compromise. You lose about a dB going out, so that would be what your transmitter lose. You also, when you're receiving, you're losing a dB coming back. So yeah, it's a compromise. That's enough to make it a compromise, but one that can be made to work and will work if this is all you've got. Now, I would still put the ground rod right outside, and then after it's passed through, take that down to the ground rod, okay? So you can get in and out of your house without drilling any holes in your landlord's house, okay? The Chinese one that we tested was a joke. I wouldn't use that at all for anything. It was $20. It was a lot less expensive than the Comet. Okay, here it is right here. Let's go ahead and take this right here. It's $60. Now, it's going to cost you close to $20 for shipping. If you can get it up over $100, your total order, you can get the shipping for free. Take a look at all the different things that they've got right here. This, if this is the way you can solve your problem, then yes, use it. Um, it does work. We just tested it. Now we showed quantitatively what it does across the bands. You lose about 2 dB on the round trip, so 1 dB each direction. That is, if you're working compromise on HF, you're not looking to do contesting or DX, it's okay. If this is all you can do, it's okay. Now I didn't try it with an aluminum window because my RV is in the shop right now, otherwise we could try it on that. So to both NEV ZL2 BNE and the original questioner Jeff KF0OWH. Here is what it looks like with the standard window through. I've never used one before. <laughs> so there you have it. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, I really encourage you to do so. Subscribing won't make any difference in what happens to you. However, if you click the bell, you'll get a notice when new videos come out. We try and do about three regular videos and about three shorts every week. Okay, so there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.